and just staying in that place of deep resonance. Feeling the time of no time and the space of no space. Your molecules softening. Receiving. Allowing. In inviting. Feeling that deep peace that comes with the resonance of the sound. It comes with the resonance in the room of each one. Each open heart, each open soul. Each being here on purpose to receive, to give, to adventure together, to meet, to be the love, the love on the inside, the love from the outside, the love that he gives each of us, the doorway to the all that is, vast expanse, receiving us always in our most perfect form, receiving us and welcoming us with the deep love of the divine, the deep limitless love that knows us. And we know that love, we say yes to that love. Allow yourself just to float into the arms and the heart of that limitless love. Feeling it embrace you. giving to your receiving, receiving to your giving, to your gratitude. And from that place of peace and expansion, from that beautiful place of the light of the all that is and the love of the all that is. We give our hearts and our gratitude to the energy of this day and the energy around us now as we receive the loving message of Kriya. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kryon of Magnetic Service. In the last years, in the last months, we have been telling you about shift and change. We've given you concepts that are new and have not been here before. Esoteric information. We've given you about that which we call the Akash. We've told you that that which you learn in this lifetime will be carried to the next and you will awaken with the wisdom and the knowledge of it. We've told you this, that the cycle of life itself is shifting and changing. That you will awaken differently next time than you woke this time. We told you that the earth is in a different place in space. That the energies that the earth will experience will enhance the heliosphere. 
that the sun will change its energy which in turn will change that which is magnetics of the planet you will awaken in the soup of magnetics which tempers your consciousness in an allowance of new things shift but all through that there's confusion this morning we said the words you don't know what you don't know a fool does not know he's a fool because there has been no higher experience than that which you've had when you speak of cycles dear ones there is an assumption even in science that the cycles that you go through will be the same and whether you are applying these things to the weather to economics or whatever you have that idea that the cycle will be the same in physics it is anything in a cycle repeats itself in the cycle when you look at that which is sound when you look at that which is vibration in the air when you deal with cycles of things you see the same cycle repeated and repeated and repeated but dear ones what makes this different is that the cycles that you are studying the cycles that you are claiming and that the ancients talked to you about the very energy you sit in in 2016 is not guaranteed to be a repeated cycle at all oh it's a cycle but you've got choice you never had before choice you never had before a higher vibrational consciousness is available in the toolkit of those who are awakening to wisdom. Wisdom that has not been here before. Wisdom that is not just in the light worker. Wisdom that is the common man and woman. A wisdom that is actually already happening on the planet. A wisdom that is preparing itself for 2016. Now let us review what we've said about 2016. In this, the second channel of this year, we do a review for a moment. We said this morning that numerologically you're looking at a catalytic year. But in that which is cyclical, that which the stars will tell you when you look upon them, that which you would study on the planet, which is the cycles, 2016 is more, much more. It is the energy of the nine it is a completion year the completion of many cycles together the teacher Greg has brought this to you has showed you the science and has actually opened the door for me to say these things that I'm saying to you now the cycle can be different that's what I want to speak on right now just for a moment or two when you don't know what you don't know if you've never done it before it can appear to be one thing when it's another if all you've known at the end of certain cycles and the beginning of others is confusion or fear or darkness there will be those who will say well here it comes again the darkness the doom and then there will be those who sense and feel it's different oh it's the cycle oh there is that 
which occurred before but does not have to occur again. Some years ago, I prompted my partner to put out that which is the information on the new children. More than 10 years ago, notice it, it was, that the children are different. The consciousness is different. Mothers who are seniors in this room or next to seniors in this room, their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren are different than their children were. There is more wisdom. There is a difference in countenance. They think differently. It has already begun, dear ones. When you look at dispensations of energy, they do not happen in an hour. <laughs> They don't happen in a year. They take generations. And dear ones, if the potentials of shift are there, they'll begin. And they have. So when I tell you that 2016 is going to be different, I'll tell you that there has been a ramp up to 2016 for many years. That there are those in normal life that are not sitting in rooms like this believing esoteric things that have the equipment of understanding that this time is different. What if I told you that there were those who are being born into this time right now that needed to be born into this time so they would have the difference? What if I told you that there are those that you have loved and lost that needed to be gone so they could come back now? And I've just given you some reasoning, even for my partner's brain, to let him understand that some things are more important than his sorrow. That sometimes the giants of thought and thinking and wisdom must leave early to come back to facilitate what's going to happen. It's confusing if you haven't experienced it. How do you know? How do you know? When you never had it happen. When you come to the, to the, to the brink and you don't know what's next. You just assume you do. I want to tell you a little story about Skipper. <laughs> That's a metaphor. And yet there's reality. Basically, Skipper lived in an entirely different world than you do. Much different. Skipper's reality was not your reality. Different world, different culture, different type, different shape. And in this society, in this world that Skipper lived, the biology that Skipper had was different than yours. One of the attributes that Skipper and his kind had in his world was that they knew when they were going to terminate. Imagine knowing just days before it happens that you're leaving. Imagine knowing so much, so clear that you could say goodbye, that you could prepare for the end. And so it happened. Skipper lived his life, and it was a good life. And then he got the signal that was in his biology that it was time to go. Skipper did what he knew, what all the others knew, what he intuitively sensed he had to do. He stopped eating. This was part of the trigger of the shutdown of his biology and everything in Skipper knew that it was the end there was no suffering it was normal for this to happen but it was the end 
Skipper didn't really understand what was going on. He knew he was leaving. In his world and in his kind and his type, it may sound strange, but remember, cultures are different. Skipper made his own coffin. It was beautiful. And all his kind did this. But it wasn't of wood. His coffin was soft. It was made of, of cloth, of string, substance and fibers. And he carefully built it, knowing that he would eventually get inside and expire. The end of life as he knew it. Now that's what Skipper knew. That's all he knew. And he was all right with it. Because Skipper didn't know what he didn't know. He climbed into this coffin. He closed it around himself and he expired. Or did he? Come with me to his coffin for a moment, for it didn't last long. The coffin started to move. And then it exploded into color. And Skipper was reborn as a butterfly. <laughs> he didn't know that, did he? Is it life after death or is it life after life? Is it a paradigm that was hidden on purpose? What would he have done if he had known? Would he have even gone through it? Skipper was Skipper, but he was different because now he was beautiful and he could fly. And so are you. A change that is so grand that you don't know it. And it's never happened before. Not to humanity. Not in this way. And there's no guarantee. And we've said this over and over. No guarantee. This planet has free choice to go the way it goes. But the potentials have been put in place by you. In such a way that we can predict it's all going to happen. This is literally the beginning of a society you've never seen in any cycle ever. And it's going to happen slowly and painfully. Because you don't know what's next, do you? I want you to be peaceful in what's taking place, no matter what you see. There are some oddities about low energy and higher energy. The low energy cannot see above itself. If a low energy culture or society or human being is exposed to a higher energy culture, it cannot see it. It does not understand it. We even told you that darkness is dysfunctional because of it. We gave you the examples of some of the things that are happening on this planet that are fearful for you. The darkness seems to have arisen suddenly and we've told you about it. It's been predicted. Dear ones, if it's predicted, you can prepare for it. Did you hear that someplace? You can understand it, you can be ready for it, and you don't have to fear it. I want to show you one more time from a human standpoint that is current events how dysfunctional low energy is. How illogical low energy is and in order to do that I'm going to give you 
a piece of information and channeling that I gave you before but now it's germane to current events a few years ago I told you something about North Korea that when the father died the son would inherit everything including the countenance the army and the egotism that he had learned from his father his father was an egotist squared <laughs> followed around by cameras so everything he said and everything he did would be documented for some unknown history for his people he would swell up in pride and say things that didn't mean anything and then retire thinking he was prophetic he was dysfunctional he was like some god of his own creation and his son was there to watch all of it we told you this watch his son for he has within him the power to do something remarkable or not and that the, the energy would then prevail one way or the other a son by the way who had seen the West and had even had some education in the West the son he knew better would he follow in his father's footsteps would he continue the charade would he then be the egotist that his father would be or could he be an egotist that did something different for his ego but something that would make a big difference on the planet there was a juncture of 60 days from the death of his father where he could have made some decisions and he did and a few days ago you see the results of it you see as an egotist as one who wanted to be adored as one who wanted to have every every word recorded and passed to history and be the most important person on earth he inherited that he was that and he had a choice now listen to me he may have been an egotist he may have been a bit dysfunctional in the psychology but there was still the logic of what he might do next he could do anything he wanted as the as the inheritor of supreme absolute power in his country he could do anything he wanted what would the egotist do what could he do that would be grander even than his father and it didn't even occur to him right then through the facilitation of the United Nations he could have pulled it off he didn't have to join the West he did not have to capitulate anything he could say to himself we are going to change this planet we are going to create a bridge between the South Koreans and the North Koreans we could unite family we can dismiss the nuclear arsenal we can bring abundance to our people we can disarm all of the 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 fear of our country what we might do instantly I can be the most important the most important peacekeeper on the planet they will applaud me at the United Nations my picture will be on every single magazine I'll get the Nobel Peace Prize and he didn't because it's dysfunctional low energy cannot see things that are higher than itself you see this and so he increased the fear and he went down a path dear ones that will be his own destruction and it may happen sooner than you think as the pariah of old energy along with others who have sent the same things a dictator 
who will enslave his people so he can have more weapons. And dear ones, the earth is not going to agree with that. Because the planet has already decided where it's going. Are there tough times with this? Oh yeah. Is there going to be another war? Perhaps, but it'll be quick. Decisive. And different than you think. Because this planet is headed for something that it can feel. Can't you feel it? There'll be those who hear this, even in this room who hear this and say, I don't understand. Have you looked at the news? Did you realize we have two Muslim countries that just separated? Do you realize the impact of that? Where is Mecca? <laughs> and can all of those who wish to worship at the right time go there now or not? What is that going to do? Think about it. The sides are being drawn and I said they would be. I said there could be no more fence sitting. And you're starting to see it now. Things are coming to a head. You can't sit around and do nothing. You must take sides. And those who don't take the sides will be seen as weak. And the sides that you're going to take is that either a high consciousness of what is going on on this planet or the same old, same old which is the energy of darkness as always the way it was. The cycle is not going to repeat the way it always has. This is the message. That's planetary. What about personal? We're going to look at that tomorrow. What does the cycle mean to you? What is 2016 going to bring to you that is different than you thought? We said it this morning. What is it that you think that is permanent with you? Simply because all the cycles of life said they were before. What is it that you might have in your body going on physically, health-wise, that you believe has a cycle? And you bought into it to the degree that you're so afraid of it, it's going to happen. Or not. I want you to talk to Skipper. I want you to see his beauty and as he flies around your head. Singing his song in his own way. He'll say, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. I laid down to die. I built my own coffin and now I'm beautiful because I didn't know this is what we predict think on these things with beauty even uncertainty but understand things are not always as they seem <laughs> for today and so it is